When Antonio asked me for a project in his Trullo in Celi and Mesapica, I was totally excited about the idea, but it took a time. And um, then six, eight weeks ago, it was finished. He sent me, sent me some pictures, was totally excited at what I saw. And he asked me to make a project. And uh, I immediately had the idea of um, sculpture in the sculpture. Because what I saw from the pictures and what I read about Trullo, it's a very strong form, round, a curved sculpture made out of stone. And with this typical shape of, a, of the roof. So it was interesting to confront my work with this strong space. And um, I saw from the pictures, from the video Antonio sent me, that it's a, a clear structure with three elements, round curved space. So I had the idea to create forms, one form, which is supposed to be hanging in different positions. And as you know, I work with uh, geometrical forms based on the idea of creating a perspective uh, three-dimensional sculpture. So it was interesting to uh, approach this space not touching the walls. The idea was really to go into the space, catch the space, but not to touch the walls. And I also noticed that all the trullos only have one opening. It's mostly the door where you enter the space and the rest is closed. So you have a, an endless space of round structures of a stone. And I wanted to open up a little bit the, the space with a kind of gap in my uh, in my format. So the idea of a window into bring into this closed space was the first the first idea. And then I was talking to Antonio also about the whole pr procedure of reconstructing, rebuilding this. Trullo and he told me I found a lot of old iron materials here, probably from farmers, from people who lived there. And so I thought ah, this might be a good contrast between the stone and my choice of materials, uh, a rusted steel. And I started to develop some ideas and uh, decided for a very clear symmetrical form with, with an opening, which is also very strong itself. But with a different position, it's about to um, interact with the space. So the best is I give you a, a brief view here inside when you enter, and you can follow me. Here we are inside this fantastic space. It's like a sky made of stone, endless. And here, just hanging these open forms. Each form is in different position. It's the same form. They are quite solid, but it's, it's a rusted steel. You have different angles to look at that. And especially the open missing part gives the possibility to flow into the space of the trullo. And I liked the idea of really to have the, the precise geometrical form in this kind of more organic structure. 
And I also liked now, but starting with this, with this rural life, it's a kind of really processing the material. So it was interesting to, to see how over this 10 days, the surface of the material processed. It's starting to get really um, like a found object, very, very, um, yeah, rusted iron. And then I also had the idea how to hang these things. And I really came to the, this uh, spontaneous idea to just take a stick here to hang these pieces like probably the farmers put a stick to dry some fruits or to hang some clothes or to, I don't know, to hang some dead animals. But it's really basic, a stick and a hanging thing. So that was the Tulu project and I'm very happy to be here the first time in Puglia. And um, I think it's a fantastic idea from Antonio to bring art in this special um, nature, in this special building. And I hope a lot of people are coming and enjoying this moment here. Thank you very much.